Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, we've got a very special guest, Annalise. I'm totally trying to scare her here. If you don't know, Annalise is our in-house stylist at Arctic Fox Hair Color. Stylist extraordinaire. Yay. Uh, I solicited <laughs> her to come help with a special, experimental, crazy idea. As you know, my lovely wife made my hair into this amazing, spectacular rainbowness. And it's been about six weeks now and it's faded out and we want to remove the color so we can do something new and amazing and spectacular. Annalise is well versed in professional products, um, but we were trying to find some, no. <laughs> no, Leo doesn't like it. We were trying to find some consumer-based products that'll help remove the color. Um, so we're gonna go out and, uh, I don't know, see what we can find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are we going to go? I don't know. Um, Where should we, we go? We're going to go to Sally's and to Beauty Supply Warehouse. All right. Let's do it. So we are headed to Sally's, even though they don't carry Arctic Fox. What's up, Sally's? Let's both give them the look of disapproval. We made it. Let's go see what they've got. So far. We're kind of failing. We found a couple of things. Hair color remover. What'd you come up with? I'm trying to look up this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're just gonna maybe make our own because there's nothing that seems to be that great out there. All right, we're gonna go check uh, one more place. <laughs> uh, where are we going now? We're going to Beauty Supply Warehouse. Cash only. What? It's really hard to find something good, at least to remove semi-permanent colors. What? I think we finally found something. So this one is CL Cream Lightener by Satin. Let's see if this works. You can get it in any beauty supply store. $8.99. Not too bad. That was quite a journey. Uh, pretty moderately successful, I would say. I don't yeah. know. We, we did all right. What, what the hell are we doing here? We found a couple things. We found this satin um, clear lightener. Um, we think it might be something similar to Pravana Triple Zero. So we'll see how this works out. And then we're just gonna add a little developer to that, right? We found Color Brilliance hair color remover. And we're gonna mix this with a little bit of water and see how that works. And then we found L'Oreal color remover and we're gonna mix this with a little bit of developer. We're using 30, but we are using some Ola Plex here, and you can get this on Amazon if you're not a professional. Yeah, we're cheating a little bit. Just because, a little bit. Because I got some fried hair and we want to protect that uh, little bit that I have left. So, and I changed my color, what, like every month? Like so, every month. Okay, and and we're still gonna use, we yes, still have one still box of this. Chroma stuff that we usually use, and we know that this works, so we're kind of just comparing everything here. Let's get this in my noggin. What's the plan? We're, we're gonna... We're gonna section here into four sections, and okay. then we're gonna go from there. So it says to apply on shampoo hair and rinse, so his hair is clean, but we're just gonna wet it down a little bit and then we're gonna apply the product. Um, it says to apply with an applicator bottle, but we're using a bowl and brush. Because we've got Arctic Fox bowls and brushes, so you know. We're representing. like straight up bleach so I don't know if this is really a special color remover or if this is just bleach. I definitely do not recommend using bleach to remove the semi permanent color. So uh, I'm gonna just judge by stinginess, and I think by stinginess, the back one, the, this back left one, is gonna work the best, but what do you think? <laughs> this one is the Pravana. Okay, the that's the most stingy. Yeah. So. This one's not doing anything. Sweet, sweet. So that's so. gonna look super cool once we're done with this. This, this is, is a really, really bad idea. 
And but then, I took it for you guys. Because I love you. This one's doing alright. But that. Which blue, one's that? This is the satin, but that is not budging. And this yellow. That yellow does not. Yeah, that? That's not budging at all. That's good. What about this thing? This one it just looks blue now and yeah. crusty. It's a gentle foaming bath yeah. for your hair, is what it says. And so. it's foamy. Yeah. Save me from myself. <laughs> this was your idea. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is the beautiful disaster that we ended up with. Um, I like it. What do you guys think, huh? Very spicy, <laughs> spicy, huh? 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 I'm ready for my big date. No. With who? No one's gonna this go out. This was Ryan's me. idea, everybody. Just to let everyone know. Yeah, that's true. It was. For the, for the fourth time, no one wants to take credit for, for this but me, but it's fine. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so it looks like uh, this, which one was this? This one's the, oh, the no. it, it did it, something or it other. It did a little, a little bit. bit. On the ends, it did a little bit. Um, this side was a L'Oreal, and we mixed, it was a L'Oreal color remover, and we used developer. This did some justice for sure. Right here was the Pravana triple zero. Um, that yellow didn't budge for some reason. Just, it's being really stubborn, and neither did that, um, the aquamarine. This was the satin. It worked just as well as the Pravana triple zero. So for those of you who don't have a cosmetology license, um, you guys can go to like your local beauty supply store and get that satin. So there you have it, folks. Don't try this at home. Stick with one solution for this problem. Now what the hell are we gonna do? <laughs> Out of all of them, you might wanna go with the L'Oreal color remover, which was this section right here or Pravana triple zero. Yeah, and I think that probably the satin and the triple zero are a little uh, easier on your hair if you really care about the integrity of your hair. I would stick to one of those. This is a, it's, it worked the best for sure, but but uh, I think it's probably the most damaging of all of them. Um, so. It's a little bit harsh for a sure. Little, a little harsh, but uh, we're gonna come up with some better solutions, damn it. I know that there's something out there that we could do, that we could make, that would work better for this. So uh, we're gonna head into the lab, so stay tuned. Stay tuned, friends. I feel like something's coming. Something's in the works. Thank you, Annalise, for doing this to me. I really, of course, you're welcome. really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. It's so nice. It's great. It's gonna be awesome. Now we know. Now you know. <laughs> why I'm wearing a hat all the time. That's why, that's, now you know why I always wear Thank hats. Thank you for being a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, guys, well, thanks for hanging out with us, and we will see you next time. Bye.